I did a bunch of videos a while back on scientific racialism where I argued that um, we don't really have any means of accurately and objectively uh, measuring someone else's intelligence. We can observe their actions and we can listen to what they say or try to grasp what whatever they're attempting to communicate but that's it uh, we don't really know what's going on up here we don't really know if their actions are intelligent or not because it depends upon what they believe uh, the purpose of their own existence is what they believe a successful outcome of their entire existence will be um, and that is subjective in and of itself. Whatever goals you say are the right ones for people to attempt to achieve in their life uh, are inherently subjective. So we can't really tell whether or not somebody is intelligent. I look at someone who I consider to be a particularly stupid individual, and this person might be... Um, highly self-actualized person. I don't know and I can't know. My consciousness is limited in that regard. I don't have access to the end results of all this person's actions and that at the end of the day is their sense of self or their sense of being, their sense of um, joy I guess in the world, their sense of being where they should be, their sense of inner peace, happiness, calm, whatever. Um, you know, I, I use the case of the uh, highly intelligent, socially awkward, uh, misfit scientist uh, who desperately wishes he could get along with people, but he can't because he's too pie in the sky. Um, he can never meet a woman, even though he wishes to God that he could. Uh, he can, uh, you know, can't make money is a miserable person, but he can figure out the most complicated scientific theorem imaginable quickly. I'd say that guy's kind of a failure <laughs> as a human being. Um, he's got a whole pile of unfulfilled desires, wants, um, things that he can't do, but conventionally speaking, he's intelligent. Whereas, you know, Forrest Gump is stupid but highly wise, emotionally well adjusted um, and uh, seems to be where he wants to be in his life given the circumstances. So we don't have any way of knowing whether or not somebody is intelligent because any of our yardsticks to measure intelligence are inherently biased always or almost always in favor of whoever is wielding that yardstick. I think the same thing can go for sanity. I can look at what someone is doing and it doesn't make sense to me. They have their reasons. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they may be sane, they may not be sane, but I don't have any, any way of actually knowing that. Because first of all, I have to know objectively what reality is, what it looks like, which I don't know. Um, secondly, I only have my own subjective tools to measure reality, my senses, my sense of abstract thinking. Um, perceptions, that kind of thing. Secondly, I have to know whether or not they are perceiving reality correctly. Another impossibility, because consciousness doesn't work like that. I can observe what somebody else is doing. I can sort of see if they can explain it to me, make sense out of it to me in a way that I can understand. But what's actually going on inside their head, between their ears, I don't know. It's... Human consciousness is far too limited in its ability to perceive someone else's perceptions for me to be able to say one way or another. Um, I can say that sort of um, they are behaving in a way that society doesn't agree to be sane and that something may have to be done about this individual, especially if they're a danger to themselves or to others. Um, even then, we don't really know if we're doing this person any good. If they're a danger to themselves, let's say that they want to kill themselves or whatever, and maybe if I 
understood the level of suffering they were subject to every day, I wouldn't attempt to restrain them, or I would try to help them along their way. Uh, if I couldn't cure them of whatever it was that was making their life intolerable. But I can't, I don't know what the value of their own existence is to them. I don't know. Um, I can, uh, I can guess. I can, uh, uh, act on those guesses, but that's the best that I can do. Not only that, if I start putting other people under a microscope in terms of their own sanity, they have every right to put my perceptions under a microscope as well. How sure am I of anything? Not very sure at all, because I understand that, the, that my senses can only pick up a small amount of what's around me, or what there is out there to be perceived. And I base my entire view of the entire cosmos on that, and... Uh, or my own existence on that when I really shouldn't and there are certain things that I know to be beyond my comprehension that I simply pretend are irrelevant as I say my favorite metaphor or my favorite example of this is every morning when I step outside to go to work and get on my bicycle I look up there's the sky that's just the sky that's just something that's up there no it isn't it's infinity <laughs> um, okay well maybe the sky runs out and when the atmosphere runs out but you know space psh, keeps going and it keeps going until it gets to a place where my mind simply can't comprehend. Um, in fact, getting out of the solar system is pretty much incomprehensible to me when you consider the scale of everything, just how tiny I am. I ignore all of this. I ignore this gigantic elephant in the room, the scale of things. Um, I ignore the scale of time as well. I ignore the scale of space, which is what I said. Um, I ignore... In many ways, I ignore the finitude of my own existence. I ignore the fact that I haven't got a clue what I am, really, what my own consciousness is. I ignore the fact that um, I don't know what's going to happen to me after I die. I, do, I completely disregard the, perhaps the most central question of all. Where did I come from? Not biologically speaking, but where did my consciousness come from? I don't know, but I just sort of blithely ignore all of that. And this is, doesn't even consider all the mythologies uh, that I adhere to. Today is the 4th of July, 2013. Says who? <laughs> well, that's totally arbitrary stuff. Um, oh, by the way, to Americans watching this, happy 4th of July, and I mean that sincerely. Um, uh, so, you know, how much of this stuff can be considered sane? Um, and, again, this is not... A, a call to sort of solipsism here because some people might sort of think that what I'm saying right now is insane in questioning everything and saying that we don't know any of this but I'm not I'm not really saying that we should actually disregard any of this either because reality has to be managed our lives here have to be managed and we have to cope with the world just because we don't you know just because I look up and I see the sky and it goes on forever it doesn't mean that I should just curl up in a fetal ball and start screaming no um, but I should always be aware of what I'm ignoring and what I'm just pretending uh, really isn't there. I should be aware, in other words, of my own insanity, of my own um, capacity for disregarding things that I cannot grasp. Um, it's a form of doublethink, which we're all guilty of. And I wouldn't even say it's a question of guilt. I'd say it's a question of coping. We all have to do this. We, every uh, thinking organism, if you ask me, has to do this. We have to sort of go with what we can be reasonably sure of and that we can only arrive at through trial and error. And there's no point in dwelling on anything else. I agree with that. But that doesn't make me sane. And it doesn't make anyone who disagrees with that insane. Um... There's a big difference between finding a way to deal with the reality around us and accepting it as 100% real. When you consider the number of things out there that are just cooked up more or less arbitrarily by human beings to make sense out of a world that otherwise wouldn't make sense, yes, we're all insane. 
and I guess the the old cliche only the people who are in the nut house know that they're insane because they you know have the great big lunatic branded onto their forehead whereas everyone else is sort of um, collectively decided arbitrarily as it were that they are the sane ones and the insane are in the nut house we don't know who the sane people are and we don't know who the insane ones are and we can't know because uh, reality is never that convenient 